Hey, hey! <laughs> we sound weird. We are back with you with our laughs. We really are. That's that's how you can tell it's us, I think. It is us, and we are We back. look different because I think the North has changed our looks. I'm not sure if it's in a good way yeah. or a bad way. It changed our looks because we're all wearing our hats looking like Northern girls. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So here we are. Oh, should I explain what we're making? We need that. We are making, uh, I guess the kind is gonna be a vanilla latte. So it's like a hot one. And I'm pretty excited because we have my sister-in-law's espresso maker, super pumped. So we can make lattes with it. So that's the thing here. So I just it's put- awesome. I just put the coffee up to the, this makes like four, um, four, what's it called? Four espresso, it makes four espresso shots, so I just put the coffee up to the four line. Awesome. I'm having some troubles finding my words this morning. That's okay, we all have days like that, I think. Yeah. So then you just stick it in there, and then after that, then this, you put water up to the four line here. Okay. And then I always have problems with spilling this, so I have to have my little funnel. She needs some little tools to help her. Help me along the way. So then you just dump her on in. She's dumping it. <laughs> it may go a little slowly at times. There. So we. So there we go. And then here you put the, put the cap on. Put the cap on that baby. Baby, baby, let's go. <laughs> you can tell she's all in into this. Then you stick this underneath so it can trip in. <laughs> and then speak English is my thing. And then you just turn it on to brew. Okay. So yeah, I think we'll be back with you once it starts a brewing. We will definitely be back. Hello. Hey. <laughs> so actually, here it comes. It kind of si is sizzling out. Well, I don't know if you'd call it that, but but look at that strong dark espresso. We is it dark roast? No, but we need this. We need this. Um, need this coffee for us. Uh -huh. On New Year's Day. Is it decaf though? It actually is decaf. So it doesn't, uh, it won't doesn't even keep give us awake. that, that um, rise. Rise in our spirits. Yeah, um, <laughs> it may. It may but, still. Yeah. Um, we'll be back with you for the next step. Okay, next step. Here we are. So we have to put in our almond milk here. There she so, goes. I just couldn't do approximately, so you just put... That's how we always do it there. That one's finished. So then we just do a little bit more of this. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Is and that then, how it works? And then we also to add a little creaminess, you know we love our cream. We love creamy. So we got the half and half here. Just add a little bit of half awesome. and half to that. Just like kind of a approximate. She's pretty great at this. I and then believe. after that, then you um we use an immersion blender because we don't have a frother, so we just use this. It it will work, it will do the trick, I think. It does the trick. So then we just use it. Woo! Yeah, baby. She gives her when she can. Oh, and you also see the steam coming out of the espresso maker. Yeah, it's kind of in giver mode. Okay, so then, then you do this, and then one trick I learned is you... She has tricks up her sleeve like always. I do at times in my life. <laughs> and then you, um... Okay, so you use the... You blend it up, and then you stick it in the mic, and then the foam stays better if you blend it first and then mic it. Okay, so keep that in mind whenever you're making your... Latte. It's a great tip. So, hey, hey, hello. Okay, so now we have the vanilla syrup here. Let's get up close with this. Get up nice and close. Our friend, our friend Rochelle Kipfer, oh uh, yeah, Kipfer. She's been very nice, letting us borrow her espresso maker and letting us use her um syrup. It is super nice of her. We we are so so grateful. So blessed. To have Hashtag her in her yeah. <laughs> okay, so here, then you do a little, uh, I do about like, oh, this one's runnier. I tried to do about like maybe a teaspoon or 
there too. Like, I almost don't really go for the sweet vibe. I kind of like more like just the, just a nice flavor in it. Sounds like a plan. I agree. So maybe we'll do about like one we actually say like hot hot drinks shouldn't be that sweet. Cold drinks are more better. We sweet. say hot today, chili tamale. <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you had said how how much a teaspoon and a half. Yeah, that's about what I did, but it's like personal preference, I would say. Yeah. Okay, so then here is the steamed milk. See the top Ooh, is kind of foamy there. Good stuff there. So then you just pour it on in. Looking creamy, wow. Pour the other one. Have we ever made a better drink? I don't think so. So there we are, these two. So maybe <clears throat> my friend Tash used to try a drink. Should we take a sip at, at the same time? Sure. We'll see who likes it better. Whoa! Oh my word. That seriously is so good. Are we good. like the best ma makers of this? I would say photo. <laughs> I would say oh, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> the credits go to this girl. She's the barista. I just am along for the ride. I try my best. But yeah. Any other tricks up your sleeve for these peeps? I don't think so. Just if you, okay. If you try it out, let us know what you think and just give us some feedback on what, how it is. Just comment in below if you try it out. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for joining us again and we'll see you later. See you on the flip.